my name is Quinn. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Before I forget, don't forget to click that subscribe button below to stay up to date on all my latest videos. In this video, I will be unboxing my very first Nordstrom Trunk Club trunk. If you don't know, Nordstrom Trunk Club is a styling service that through Nordstrom, so basically they send you a bunch of clothing items or accessories you try on and buy what you like and then you send back what you don't like. So let's get into my box. So the first item that I have here is from the brand A Gold. A gold day not sure how to say it it is the like a sweat shirt t-shirt and it is 128 dollars so this thing better be amazing first impressions it feels rather thick like a sweatshirt should Ooh, look at this so it literally looks like a sweatshirt or a crew neck with no arms i might be here for this i'll have to try it on but as you can see here, it does have some sleeve detailing. So there's a little, a little pleat right here. It almost gives the illusion of a puff, but I do not think that these will be a full puff sleeve. So let's try it on. Okay, so I do feel a little bit Prince farquad with these sleeves. I was wrong, they did puff. Um, I don't know if it's not just that I'm not used to seeing myself in shirts like this, but I don't know if it's as cute on as it was just holding it up. So here is the shirt. It is adorably in the color Noodle. Basically, it feels like it's super good quality, as it should for $128. Here it is. It fits exactly like I would expect a small to fit me. And I don't know, it's kind of grown on me. It's definitely different though. The armhole here is huge compared to where my actual arm is, like it definitely feels like they just cut off the sleeves of a crew neck. The second item in the box here is just a basic little tie-dye t-shirt. It is from the brand Billabong and the front pocket says, follow the sun. So how summery and cute is this? And it is also in a size small, just like the crew neck short sleeve shirt that I just opened. And this shirt is $39.95, so it feels pretty soft. I'm pretty excited to try this and see what it looks like on my body. Here is the t-shirt, and it is fitting, here I'll move my hair, and looking exactly as you would expect from a normal t-shirt. I do appreciate that the sides are, it's like a boxy cut, so I'm a person that needs that boxy cut. I really don't like when women's shirts are cut like in so to like go and then like flares out a little not a huge fan of that look so I do enjoy the cut of this shirt very much and I really like the soft blue tie-dye it's like very springy to me I mean this whole box is but this shirt especially the next item that I have here is from Madewell it is a Henley t-shirt so it looks like it's cut a little bit oversized just based on how wide it is this is a size small it was originally 45 but on sale for 33.75 and it's this nice little pink color pretty basic just some buttons in the front and feels like any other Madewell t-shirt if you have felt their t-shirts before here is that shirt I don't love it on my body mostly because of how boxy it is so I do like a boxy tee and I was hoping that this would just kind of be like an elevated boxy tee because of these buttons but it's just it's too wide for me and I think it just makes me look a little top heavy which I just it's just not my style but I will show it to you anyway and I do really like this peachy color and again it does feel like it's like made well this next item is literally just a basic scoop neck black tank top. So it has a little bit of thicker straps and it is from the brand Free People. And it was, it is, it is $20. So again, just a basic tee here. It does have a seam down the back here. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but just a little bit of extra added detail, but it feels, it feels very thin. Here is the black tank top. This actually surprised me a little bit. So. I don't know what I expected. I don't honestly usually wear shirts like this, like with the scoop neck and with like being like this ribbed material. I'm usually, you know, in athletic wear, 
but I actually really like this and it feels like something like very easy to like throw on, especially going into summer. Even though it's dark, you could pair it with some lighter bottoms or it would go well with leggings. I know it's a little hard to see here because I do still have black jeans on, but the tank top itself is actually pretty short. It does end about right here. So you're, if you're looking for something to like cover your bottom, this is not the shirt for you. And like I felt when I pulled it out of the box, it is very thin, but I think that actually is going to make it super beautiful. The next item is just a plain white Madewell t-shirt. And this one is also on sale. So it's literally just a plain white tee. It was $19.50 and is on sale for $14.62, which is not bad. It is nice that with Trunk Club, if an item does go on sale, like when you get your box or before you get your box, you do get that sale price, which is super nice. So you're not paying full price for an item that other people aren't paying full price for. And honestly, I feel like Madewell t-shirts like this are like always on sale. So in general, never pay full price for these. The white t-shirt is on and the sleeves really surprised me. Look at this. There's a little bit of a drop sleeve going on and I'm actually really surprised for $14. I feel like I might just keep this because I honestly don't have any white t-shirts right now and it seems like a great piece to have, especially as we head into spring. I will show you all around just a very basic white t-shirt. The next item here is from the brand BB Dakota and it is a shirt jacket or a shacket, I believe is what it, you know, is formally called. And it was, it is also on sale. It was originally $145 and is on sale for $108.75. So nice to see it's a little bit off. I'm actually really excited for this because I feel like as we head into spring, this will be hopefully the perfect addition to my wardrobe. But here it is, it's a little light pink color here. All right, here we are. Number one thing I wanna point out here, it has pockets on both sides and you can see that they're actually like fairly large. Anyway, I have been going back and forth on this at first I thought maybe it was like a little too long, but I think that with shoes on and with more of like an outfit underneath, I think it would be perfect. Up next is a pair of jeans from the brand Wit and Wisdom. And the stylist did make a note on these, so I'm normally a size four-ish. Sometimes I'm a two in jeans, but usually I'm a size four. And they did say that these run big, so she just ordered me a size two. So. Here they are, some black skinny jeans, and these are $68. Here are the Wit and Wisdom jeans. So they are also supposed to be high rise, but they are not nearly as high rise as the Madewells. They also come right to my ankle, and they are super, super stretchy, which I don't love like this level of stretch. Like they literally feel like a pair of leggings. They also, here, let me get all close again. So the waistband here is sitting like right under my belly button. So I think on someone without a long torso like me, you would have a normal high rise. There's also like an elastic band running along the top, which I think is help helping to make them so stretchy. These, like I said, are a size two and they fit me perfectly. So definitely size down in these. The stylist was right on point. Coming in with a, another pair of jeans here, though not black jeans this time. These are from Madewell, and they are 135, as Madewell jeans typically are, and they are the curvy perfect jean. Wow, that looks huge. Look at the back here. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be super high rise. Well, maybe not on me, because I do have a long torso. So I have the Madewell jeans on. Let me move up the shirt, because that is not what we are talking about right now. These are a little bit too big for at least how I like to wear my jeans. So let me get a little closer here and show you. So it might not be super obvious, but the waistband here is actually like to me feels like too loose. So I personally know that these jeans would stretch out over time throughout the day. For me, they just feel like a little like loose and baggy. So I think that I'm not gonna keep this pair, but otherwise, as you can see, here, I'll just lift my foot. The length is like right at my ankle, not too long, not too short. And otherwise they feel like very comfortable. I can tell that there is a little bit of extra room in the thighs, which is coming from that like curvy perfect line that these jeans are a part of. But otherwise, 
As expected with Madewell jeans, I love them. And there are two more things in the box and they are both pairs of shoes. This pair of shoes was a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought maybe. And here they are. Oh, they're in a bag. So they are there, these like cheetah or leopardy print shoe from the brand Sarto. And they are seven and a half. I think these would be really cute in summery, especially with summer coming. Here are these shoes again. So they're a little bit narrow for me. I do have a little bit of like wider feet. So I do have to be careful with sandals and be like aware of where the straps are gonna fall on my feet. And these are also just like a little bit too small. I think that lengthwise my foot would need an eight, but again, I don't think that my foot shape matches the shape of these. So I will not be keeping these. The last thing in the box are Jeffrey Campbell sandals and they're $164.95. So to keep these, I am going to have to be in love. I forgot to say the little cheetah print sandals are $129.95. These ones though, 164-ish. And here they are. They are a pink suede. The last pair of shoes here are the Jeffrey Campbell platform sandals, which again, I think actually are so cute. I just can't get over this wicker part here and how much they look like a basket. Also, I was just looking at the bottoms and holy moly, they have zero traction. I feel like I would be slipping these did fit me. I would say these fit true to size as a seven and a half. They don't run super narrow or anything. Like I actually really enjoy the straps here around the toe area. Again, I just, they're not the right style for me, but I do like the color and the like shoe design, but I will not be keeping these ones either. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs up before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.